Hello, hello, everyone. We're here again with the teacher Pedro Zavala. Hello, teacher. Hello, Michael. I'm happy to be here with you. You told me you wanted me to teach you. Advanced English phrases, so our students can improve their English and speak as a native. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I know people like this class, so I will try to give you good information. It's important to know these advanced phrases in English, if you want to improve your English, of course. So, what would you say about these videos, for example, are they interesting? Well, if you said yes, thank you so much. But there are more advanced ways to express this. For example, you can say, it's fascinating, or, it's intriguing. You can also say, I couldn't tear myself away. It means I paid a lot of attention. Or if you're talking about reading books, you can say, I couldn't put it down. This phrase means that the book you're reading is extremely interesting. I couldn't put it down. Or, I was so into it, I lost track of time. Now, if you want to say the opposite. I mean, that something was boring to you. You can say, I was bored to death. That means something was really boring. Or, I was bored to tears. For example, if you went to a conference and it was really boring, you will probably say, That conference was horrible. I was bored to tears, the speaker was the worst ever. Now, if you want a longer phrase, you can say, it's about as exciting as watching paint dry. That's kind of sarcastic, but I've heard that expression a couple of teens. Ha ha ha. Now, we all have problems in life, I know that perfectly, so if you see a friend worried, you will probably make a comment like, you look a little sad, instead of saying that, you'll say, you look a bit down, is there anything I can do to help, if you're a good friend? After that, you can cheer up that friend who feels sad or depressed, you can say. Cheer up, chin up, it's not so bad, everything will be okay, or. Look on the bright side, you say this phrase to tell your friend to consider the positive aspects. For example, if a friend failed an exam, but you have the chance to talk to the teacher about it. You can say, I know you failed the exam, but look on the bright side, we can talk to the teacher to ask her for an opportunity. Or, it's not the end of the world. This phrase is used when someone is upset about something small and trivial. For example, if your friend's favorite soccer team lost the finals, you can say I know they lost, but it's not the end of the world, I'm sure they will try harder the next year. Make sure to use these phrases in your everyday life, that's the only way to improve your English. Now, if you want to express you're disappointed about something.
you can say, what a pity, or, what a shame. Or, how disappointing. For example, if you find your partner cheating on his or her exam. You can say, I can't believe you're cheating on your exam, we studied hard for it. How disappointing. Or you can use expressions like, it was a real letdown. It means it was a real disappointment. Or maybe you watched a movie a friend recommended you, saying it was really good. But at the end, it wasn't that good. Instead of that, it was really bad. Then, you can say, The movie you recommended me was boring, it didn't live up to my expectations. I'm gonna teach you some phrases to indicate you don't believe someone, pay attention. To express you don't believe someone, you usually say, you're kidding. Or, you must be joking. Well, instead of saying that, you can say, you're pulling my leg. For example, are you telling me you won the lottery yesterday? You're pulling my leg. Or when somebody is exaggerating, you can say, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Or, he's stretching the truth, he's not telling the whole truth. She's being economical with the truth, it means she's lying or not telling the entire truth. Imagine you don't believe someone's story, then you can say, his story is fishy. Or when somebody is exaggerating, you can say, that's a bit of an exaggeration. And followed by this, if someone is lying, it means that person is not a good person, right? So we could say that is a bad person, but instead of saying, he's a bad person. We can use different expressions like, he's a creep, or He's a psycho, he's a scumbag, he's an asshole, alright, too much, ha ha ha. Maybe you can say, he's a jerk, it means he is not very intelligent, ha ha ha. There are stronger insults, but we can leave that for a next video. If you want it. And if someone insults you, obviously, you will notice her or his facial expression. Then we need to know how to describe those facial expressions, am I right? For example, if you look somebody very happy, you say, she looks very happy. But that's too basic. Instead of that, you better say, she was beaming. It means, she had a big, radiant smile, or, she was smiling from ear to ear. Other examples of facial expressions are, he looked puzzled, instead of, confused. He winced when the doctor gave him an injection, it means he had a quick expression of pain. She gave me a dirty look. It means, she looked at me angrily. She blushed. It means her face turned red because she was embarrassed.
Why the long face? It's an informal expression to ask why someone looks sad or upset. Or, her expression was unreadable, when you can't know what she is feeling. Oh, no look at the time, it's very late, I'm sorry I have to go. Yeah, I get it. That was a very fascinating class. Thank you very much. But we're gonna have another video with advanced words and phrases, right? I don't know. We have already made some videos. Maybe, the students are getting bored. I don't think so. Well, they will let us know on the comments. Do you want more? Thank you watching. Video like. Subscriber to my channel.